have you been in this country? As a matter of fact, in my country, there was a war, and uh, they killed my grandfather, killed my grandmother, and they killed my dad. They were about to kill me, and I ran. So the guy was saying, so you ran from Nigeria to America? Say, no, I went through Kenya. <laughs> And you must have seen him if you have uh, some people not get internet for house, they steal from their neighbor. <laughs> you know, Nigeria is now when Nigeria has not get, get internet, you go know. The day before he's stealing from his neighbor. But when Nigeria get internet, or Africans get internet, we we'll put security. <laughs> Who gets you secured? <laughs> We have vegetable. <laughs> Americans, they go to gym every day, they'll be jumping. Your problem is very easy to solve. Take all these people to Africa. When you walk from Osho Dioke to Isalego, you will lose those weights. Picture it. CSI Lagos. <laughs> the dead body is on the floor. Police come. Okay, everybody, everybody, move, move. Oh boy, this guy don't die. Who kill him? Now you kill him? Now let me tell you, if the first person to arrive at the scene of the accident is one of the major tribes in Nigeria, the Yoruba, the possibility of you dying is 101 over 100. You know why? Yoruba people have this tendency of wasting time and Unnecessary exclamation. <laughs> if you know you don't people where, when we are surprised by anything, our mouth is always open. <laughs> Accident scene. Somebody wants to cross the road. The car hits him. Bah, he lands on the ground. Ah! 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 Yeah! Ah! Mope! He could have been more. He has phone in his hand. Call police, he will not call. Call ambulance, he will not call. Phone is in the back. Ah! Oh my shit! Another person will kill her. Mother! Ah! Ah! Ah. Okay. Now, another thing I noticed in this part of the world is that when they give you news, it is detailed. Like when you tune on CNN, CBN, ABC, and the rest, if there's a major news, this is what you get. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, my name is JD Brown, and these are the headlines. Tonight, well, proud to let you know that America has broken down the power of the uh, Taliban. Our correspondent in Afghanistan, James Jill, will tell you what's happening. You see James Jill. All right, my name is James Jill. I'm in Afghanistan right now. And behind me is the American troop. In front of me is the Afghanistan troop. Now they're going to fire the missiles, as you can see. You just go, oh, look at that. They are firing the missile. <laughs> Middle of fire exchange. <laughs> that same news in Nigeria. This is the news at night. My name is Ruth Benedicta Opia. Tonight, America invaded Afghanistan. We will now hand over to our correspondent who will tell you what is happening. Correspondent is outside. My name is uh, Chukodi Ekwe. I am the correspondent, but as you can see, I'm not in Afghanistan. We will now look to see who is crazy enough to be there in the middle of the firepower. I love my life. If you want to die, let them die. 